What's going on, man? It's your big bro, Trend. You tune into the right video at the right time. Don't change this video because what I'm about to say is about to blow your mind, man. This this, this is something I've been wanting to talk about for a long time, but I don't be... See, when I, when I talk about... On my channel, when I talk about stuff that I really want to talk about, it's like all hell break loose and people can't believe that I'm talking about it. But this is another one of them topics that I always wanted to talk about, but now I'm getting used to being comfortable with telling y'all stuff that I'm really feeling, okay? So listen to this video. Um, if, if you're a man out there, please comment on this video and back me up. If you a woman out there, please be strong, sister, and don't get triggered to where this make you unsubscribe because I'm about to put y'all on game, all right? I love y'all. But listen, this is the truth. I've been seeing it with my own two eyes, y'all. I'm an observer. I can sit back and look at the world because I got all the time in the day to do it, okay? I live my life looking at research, doing, you know, looking at data, looking at numbers. This is what I do. I study all day long and i'm able to have that th that time thank god i have that free time on my hands to be able to do that and i see things that a lot of people don't even have time to see okay um listen man the elites whoever the elites are whoever they are all right they are slowly breaking down the modern women Okay, they are they are doing it and they're doing it in plain sight. They are tar they not targeting men. Okay, they not targeting men. I don't see men shifting or changing at the rate that women are shifting and changing. Even though it is men that's shifting into not being men no more, but the rate is much higher with women shifting into being less feminine than men being less masculine, okay? Let's just go ahead and keep that statistic in the air because that is the damn truth, okay? I see more lesbian women everywhere I go nowadays in the public. I see more lesbian women than I ever see gay dudes, ever. And I see gay dudes too. And I got respect for the gay dudes. I got respect for lesbians. But I can tell you the truth. I run it just last night. Just last night, I seen lesbian women. Just last night at the casino, I seen lesbian women. Hugging up. The stud was with the film or the fam or whatever you want to call it. They had another one. That's fine. But I seen it last night within 24 hours ago. Did I see a gay man? Probably did, but I couldn't tell. You feel me? I, I, I didn't know. He didn't. Nobody, no men tried to hit on me. But I'm just telling you what's going on in society, bro. They are slowly breaking down y'all ladies, all right? And if you're a real strong lady out there, this is where you got to take a stand. And y'all got to start doing something about this because every day that goes by, more and more women are falling into this trick, okay? It is a trick. It is a scheme. It is a plan, all right? I don't know who they are. But they want division. The they don't want men to be with women no more. They don't want women to feel feminine no more. They don't want women to be soft. They don't want women to wear dresses anymore and put uh, flowers in their hair and be cute and stuff. They don't want that. They want a tough, hard shell, masculine woman. Okay? And this is what's happening right before our eyes, man. Um, and how is this true? Man, listen, this is true because, listen, when's the last time you seen somebody that was pregnant other than at the hospital? It ain't no more pregnant women walking around out here, man. It ain't no more women that's even getting pregnant no more. Most women have adopted the mindset of, I don't want no kids. I don't want to ever have kids. I'm good all by myself. Most women have adopted that. That was that was a attitude that was adopted. That's not natural. That's not natural for a woman to naturally feel like she doesn't want to uh, create more life. Right? That is women's job on earth is to create more life. But see, this is what the plan is. They don't want women to think that way because they want to depopulate the whole world. They want to depopulate everybody. They don't want too many people living 
So they have to force this plan on women so that they can not reproduce. This is why women are adopting the masculine attitude. Because it's not some type of natural thing that a woman thinks. It's, this is something that they are pushing. It's an agenda, folks. It's an agenda. Okay? And again, I'm all, I don't care what you, you can go be LGBT community all day, all you want. I don't care. But why is the LGBT community parade televised and socialized on social media? Um, why is the rainbow symbol so masked, produced on social media? You see it everywhere to the point it's in emojis now. It's an emoji. LGBT community got their own section in Macy's. You feel me? You can go to a department store and they have a whole LGBT community section over there for them. Okay. Why isn't there a heterosexual, a heterosexual section for him or them? You see what I'm saying? Why isn't a heterosexual parade being thrown where people are like, what well, men or with a bunch of men out there where it's like, we like women. We like women. We like women. You know why? Because that's not something that they want to promote. That's not something that they really care to promote because they don't want that. The target is women, right? And this is why men are, you, you probably heard, if you're a woman out there, you probably heard like a lot of men is getting their passports and they going to Brazil, South America, Thailand, Phuket, Ecuador, they, they really are doing that. But the reason why they doing it is because they are starting to run in, they are starting to run into women who is not respecting them in the creator's order no more. You feel me? Like they not getting this just simply they just not getting respected. They're not going to look for coochie. They just really want to be with a, a, a woman that respects them and who they can be a man for. But it's not going to work if you got women nowadays that want to play the man role and the woman role. She wants to lead the household and she wants to be treated and, and cared for. It don't work both ways. You feel me? And this is what deceived Eve in the Adam. In the, and this is what deceived Eve in the Garden of Eden. It's the same story. It's just a different day. All right. The serpent pulled up. He didn't pull up on Adam. He pulled up when he caught Eve by herself, told Eve if she eat this apple, she would be more like God. She would be more like him. If she eat this apple, ain't nobody going to know. And you're going to be closer to God. But it's, it's all a lie. It's, it's a lie because what the serpent did was take her out of divine alignment with what the purpose that the creator had intended. Okay. And so what happened in the story of Garden of Eden? You feel me? After she ate the apple in the Garden of Eden, she noticed that she was exposed. And then what happened after that? God told, God said, well, why did you eat the apple? And then she blamed it on Adam. You see what I'm saying? It's basically the same story that's going on nowadays. It's just a different time frame. You feel me? Once upon a time, women had the marriage role. They had it good. They, they could sit back, chill, like, you know, growing up, this is how I saw my grandma and them living with their husbands and stuff. You know what I'm saying? My my auntie and them, they sitting back chilling, had it made, man, drinking lemonade in the shade, baking cookies, take care of the household, planting gardens, uh, planting uh, fruit trees in the backyard, uh, living a good life, you know, in the kitchen and, and doing everything that just just living a just living like a baller lifestyle, like an entrepreneur. You know, entrepreneurs get to set back, do whatever they want because they live in the free world. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with women back in the days. It's like they had that privilege because the man was out doing his normal job duties at the factory working. You know, he was getting the money for the family. She was his wife. She was dedicated to him and only him. And she sat at home. And back in the days, you know, this sex, smoking cigarettes or whatever the case may be. And she was at home chilling, basically. Whatever she wanted to do, she was doing it. Nowadays, I don't know who did this, but I guess it's a part of the plan. Nowadays, they, they had a plan, it came out, and it said, 
No, women, you don't have to be submissive. You don't have to sit around and, and just do what he tells you to do. See, it was manipulation. It was manipulation. It wasn't that he was telling her to do anything. This was the order that the creator of the universe wanted it to be. He wanted to be man and then first. He wanted to be woman come from man's rib. You feel me? Woman was supposed to be his helpmate and his nurturer. That's what it was supposed to be. But see, the devil came in and manipulated women into believing that they are not getting the joy out of life by being in that playing in that role of a wife or a woman or a lady to her man. Like you're losing out. He's living better than you. He's doing good. You are missing out. This is not who you're supposed to be. It was the same thing the serpent did in the Garden of Eden. And then what happened was a lot of women bit the apple in modern day society and they took it on themselves and said, you know what? I want to be just like my man. I want to go work too and I want to go make some money too for myself because I want to do what I want to do. I am just like him. You feel me? I am just like God. And I'm going to do it. And I'm a businesswoman now and I'm going to run my own company and I'm going to do whatever I want to do. And at the same time, I still want a man. You see what I'm saying? You can't, you can't bake your cake, serve it to somebody and then want to eat it at the same time. It just don't work like that. The universe don't even work like that. So nowadays in modern day society, you got women who want to be powerful like a man who want to have the same opportunities like a man even though they are women and naturally born feminine, they they have been bamboozled and fooled to want the same privileges and opportunities that the masculine divine gets, right? And at the, at the same time, even though they've got them privileges now, they still want to be a man, but they wonder why they can't obtain or re keep a man. Because it don't work like that. It don't work like that. Like if I want to... I give it. If I wanted a woman, if I wanted to have a wife, if I wanted to, to have a girlfriend that res respected me, I couldn't say, "All right, I want to be kind of fruity at the same time, and you know, I want to be soft, and I want to stay in the bathroom and do my makeup for two hours, and I want to go get my nails done, and why I want to go get my pedicure done, and, and, and stuff like that." I, I, you know, what I mean, and I'm gonna go do that first, baby. Do you mind waiting? Man, she's going to be looking at me like, what the boy? Are you out your damn mind? Why you got to be so pretty? Like, you been shopping in the mall all day for like three hours? Really? Are you serious? It won't make no sense to her. And guess what? She will be turned off by me because of my feminine traits, even though I'm a man. That's what you have happening with women nowadays. You got feminine, divine women who still want the opportunities and to be doing the same things men do, but they still want you to see them as a feminine woman. It don't work like that, ladies. It don't, that's backwards. That's backwards. And this is why men are running away. This is why they running away to different places to find natural women who do natural things, who don't have a lot of exposure, who don't have social media accounts, who are not looking for attention. They probably live in a hut, a tent, or a teepee, but it don't matter to him because he's not looking for a status in a woman. He's looking for a woman who treats him like a king. He's looking for a woman who treats him with respect and she's not so headstrong or, 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 or headstrong on herself to think that she needs some, she needs all this attention. She needs all this spotlight to make her, to, for what? For egotistical reasons. She's she's just she's just happy to be with a man. She's just happy to be with him. That's why men are getting their passports and going to different countries and they running away from modern women. But if y'all modern women out there don't understand that all this stuff is being projected onto y'all. You feel me? Then y'all would get it. But y'all not getting it because y'all don't get it. All right. Why do you, okay, if y'all don't get it, then ask yourself this if you're a woman watching this video. And thank you so much, sister, if you still had the guts and the courage to continue to listen to my language and tone of voice without being triggered to where you unsubscribe, you get you start feeling in your emotions and stuff like that. Thank you so much, sister. You strong. I adore you. All right. But what I was gonna say is this is why they pushing this agenda. This is why they pushing this agenda on y'all. 
and y'all don't see it, okay? Why you think it's not that many women coaches out there that can teach y'all or if y'all, you know what I mean, that can talk to y'all. Matter of fact, forget the coaches. Before I get to the coaches, why you think most women don't kick it with each other? Why you think most women hate each other? Why you think most women are envious of each other? Why you think most women have a hard time standing standing beside each other and they get jealous of each other? Again, this is because they don't want y'all to have no womanhood. They don't want y'all to stick together. They want y'all to hate each other. They want y'all to be in competition with each other. They don't want to create y'all to create unify, to create coalitions so y'all can empower yourself. They want y'all to be weak and they want y'all to be timid. And, 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 and broken so that you can get harder, so that you can get stronger, so that you can get tougher, so that you get more angrier. And then the next thing you know, you got a whole body with tattoos on your on your body. It look like you just came out of prison like a man did. Man, it's just becoming unattractive to guys nowadays. When men, when men these good men out here that's working out and they making seven figures and six figures and stuff like that. You know, they is looking at women who they would like, but they not attracted no more because the women got all kind of piercings everywhere on her body. And it just looks, it's, it's, it's over. Everything is overdone. It's too much makeup, pounds of makeup on their faces. The eyebrows are not real no more. The eyelashes are out way out here nowadays. The, the, the booties, or just hanging out, just walking around in public, just for everybody to see. It's on public display of affection, just just everything. And to him, he's not intrigued because she's not a mystery. You feel me? He would more so want something that's covered and he takes her into his own concubine or his own living spaces and she reveals her majesty and her beauty to him. And to him, that means the world to him because he sees her as his this is my this is my fruit this is my beauty this is my woman but he see nowadays they seeing women out here that's just showing it to everybody like it's free like it's just i'm giving it to you i'm giving it to you i'm giving it to you i'm giving it i mean just like prostitutes do if you walk in through the streets of downtown oakland just like prostitutes do if you go to las vegas on one of them little alley streets they just walking around just flaunting all they feature, and it's not a mystery anymore to these guys. And these guys are not intrigued anymore. They're not interested anymore. That's why they're not approaching women on dates. That's why they're not crazy for anything anymore. Because everything has become superficial for women. This is why the guys are running to third world countries to get Indian girls and to get Arabian girls and to get uh, Bra Brazilian girls and chicks with the real version Remy has. They don't want the chick that has the fake version Remy has and the, and the, and the fake Colombian hair. They, it's cute. It looks good. It's, it might get you to get smashed at night, but deep down inside, he want to go to Chun-Li because Chun-Li is doing everything is natural. It's just like eating food. It's like don't nobody want processed food or food with GMOs in it. People want whole organic foods. And nowadays, it's like the women nowadays are just not being organic anymore. Simple. It's just not happening anymore at the rate that they need to be. All right. And this is why you have your Cardi B's and your Nicki Minaj's and your black reds. I mean, your sexy reds and stuff. That's why you have all these girls that look like strippers and voodoo thoughts as role models for the women's society. These are the new role models. Strippers, ex-strippers, Megan Thee Stallion, ex-stripper, hood rats, sexy red, ex-baby mama, mama, baby mama, hood rat. They want y'all to be like that. They want y'all to act like that. They want y'all to carry yourself like that. They don't want y'all to be classy. They don't want y'all to be elegant. They don't want y'all to have pride in yourself. They want you to be in the... I ain't gonna say what I want to say. They want y'all to have dignity. They want y'all to have eloquency. If that's a word. And... They destroying the modern day women. It's been, they destroying y'all. Okay, they, it ain't men because men. At the end of the day, men 
can go to a different place and choose his queen. He can, he, cause he the one that got to marry her or he the one that got to choose to be with her. He does the choosing and the picking from the basket. It's him. God made man the authority. You feel me? God created man first. And then he made woman from his real. Put man to sleep and mended him back together and created woman to be his helpmate. That's, that's not what I said. That's what God said. That's what he said. And the reason why it's so messed up now, that if women came back to the divine alignment of, in the structure and the order of how God has set it up to be, y'all wouldn't go through as much struggle and stress as y'all go through nowadays, ladies. Y'all wouldn't. Y'all wouldn't be working like y'all working nowadays. Y'all wouldn't be struggling to take care of the kids nowadays. Y'all wouldn't be none of that. None of that. If y'all didn't have, if y'all wasn't on social media posting so much naked pictures and and cleavage pictures nowadays, you would be better off without that stuff. My mom and them, my great grandma and them, my auntie and them, they didn't have that back in the day and they was living good, bro. They raised us as better, as great men and women. Man, if Martin Luther King and them and all these people that created our rights and, and stuff, man, if some of these people woke up out their graves, man, they would want to go back to their grave. They would be like, what the hell have we, what? And the reason why I'm getting on women in this video is because not, not, not that I hate women. I'm just, I understand that women are the creators of human life in society. Y'all are the creators of natural human life in society. So we need y'all to fall in that order in order to continue to have family values on this planet, in this earth, in this country, especially in this country. This country has freaking lost it. This country nowadays, we like the modern-day Sodom and Gomorrah. It's so bad. Like I said, I went to the casino the other day. Caught my eye, man. I was just, everybody was looking. Everybody was looking. This girl walked in with her, and I think that was like Spanish or Cuban or something. Um, this guy walked in holding his girl hand, older couple, like, you know, like in their 40s or something. They walked in holding his woman hand. She was bad too. Oh man, you know she she looked like she wasn't American. Um, he was grabbing his girl hand. He was a Cuban dude or something. She looked like she was from another country, and she had a big old stomach, a big old stomach with a big baby in it, with a big baby in it. Everybody was even. I was looking like. I was looking like. Like in amazement because it's not even common no more to see a pregnant woman. Even I was looking at just having things. I'm like thinking about my, I'm thinking about my past. And I'm thinking about the future. Like, damn, he, he, he a real man. He walking in with his girl. He holding his girl. He comforting her. She ain't saying nothing. She listening. I seen them sit down at the, at the, they went to the bar. I seen them sit down in the bar. She was sitting there with just chilling. Wasn't too overly aggressive. Wasn't talking to everybody. Didn't, wasn't looking around for attention. Didn't, wasn't doing none of that stuff that the modern day women be doing nowadays when you see them out. She was sitting down beside him. She he was up doing the talking. She was just sitting there chilling. That was her man. And I could tell he was, she was his woman. And that's why she had the big baby in her stomach. And I, they didn't have a ring on their finger. But I guarantee you, that's going to be the woman right there to get the ring. Them the ones to get the rings right there. Submissive, relax, shut your mouth, talk later. Let him be the leader. Let him play his role. You play your role. That's what, that's why she has such a great man. And they walked out. He walked right in front of me with her. And I was just looking like, where did those times go? I'm like, wow. Wow. And like I say, ladies, y'all can tell me. I, Kevin Samuels tried to school y'all and educate y'all on how to change this stuff. But even he had to die for this cause. You know, he spent his whole life trying to do that. I don't coach women. But isn't it ironic how most women nowadays, they tune in to listen to men? You see how backwards it has become? It's not women go to other women for education or intelligence or image consulting or anything. They, they can't because y'all are dysfunctional. Y'all don't y'all can't talk to each other. Y'all can't. That's how bad it is for y'all group. Most women nowadays is listening to men talkers like Big Bro Trend, which is cool. Welcome. Okay. But I really would suggest a lot of other I really would suggest women to actually be able to go to other women and get coaching for them for feminine divine purposes.
Because if you keep listening to men all the time, you ain't going to do nothing but adopt mentality of men. You might learn from Big Bro Trend. I thank you because I do teach stuff for women too. But at the end of the day, you should not be listening to me every day, adopting everything that I'm telling you But because I am a man at the end of the day. All right? Like you are a one man, okay? Only the only, the only time you should really be taking in everything a man should say and using it to your advantage if, if that's your real, if that's your actual husband, that's your man, man. You feel me? The only time I would really listen to any woman that has anything to say about women, I might I might listen to Reva sometimes. But guess what? That's Reva. Okay, cool. That's what Reva said. But if my wife, if I had a wife or if I had a girlfriend who who I cherished, I would listen to my one man before I go listen to Reva. Because it's an order of operations. You understand? So I just wanted to get this video out there, man. Um, this is, this is what society's doing. They slowly breaking the modern women down, man. Y'all, <laughs> y'all want to be lonely? <laughs> y'all want to be lonely and fifty years old like your mama, like your aunt, and, and, and be angry and bitter? Or do you want to just suck it up, be humble, settle down, chill, get back into the good life? Because this is what men are waiting on y'all to do. And I'm sorry, I don't mean to be the bearer of bad news, but if it's not going to be done, they gone. They leaving, they gone, they gone, they gone, they gone, they gone, they gone. Okay? So, it's your big bro, Trend, man. I'll catch you in the next video today. Peace.